We're here on Packhorse Mountain, Ishka number one, uh, built by and for Chalathmuk people. And the big reason we are here, here with all these children, is to teach a healthier lifestyle, um, a more balanced lifestyle, balancing the mind, the body, the spirits, and the emotion. Um, and we've done this in a, in a, a lot of uh, good ways, in ways that the, the children can A, keep their uh, attention on it, and B, absorb it uh, in, in a good way. It's different than down in Schlag. We've got to help out with every little thing, do everything as a group. Every morning we take a dip in the creek. And then after that, we go for a jog. And then after that, we do whatever until breakfast. And then after breakfast, we do our sacred spot. And then after that, we do we do first circle of the day. Talk about stuff and see what we're going to do. And then after that, more chores. And then we go do stuff. After we come up here, it all just seems to be one big happy family. Everyone's working with each other. Teamwork. It's basically, it's just teamwork. Camping in the Shishkin is pretty cool because it's always warm in there at night, nice and cool in there during the day. We eat in there and it's nice and big. One of my biggest teachings, I guess, was um, should you should be quiet and and listen like as much as possible. The way we teach the, the children, uh, we're not ordering them around or uh, or yelling at them and screaming at them and, no, and that's, uh, that's not really usable, but pushing them in that way. Rather, we uh, we show them. And by example, and talk to them one on one as as uh, equal human beings. It's always been an interest of mine to see the revival of our our culture, and being able to bring these kids out here, I think, is a good way of doing that to connect them back to Mother Earth and to be able to teach them and expose them to different different things, different aspects of you know the wilderness. Um, and we try to get up before the sun comes up, 6, 6.30 in the morning, and right away before doing anything else, going down to the creek and having our spiritual bath. And the, the spiritual bath is, is taught in a way that uh, they learn self-discipline. The water is cold up here, the creek, because we have to have bath every morning. I got in halfway, so first day we were here, first full day we were here, it was cold. Tuesday morning, I had to take a bath and I didn't want it. And then I decided to get in because my little brother got in. And, uh, it was pretty good and I started doing it every morning. It wakes you up, it get, gets rid of all of your negativity and it cleanses you. Pointing your head downstream will take away all your negativity and pointing your head upstream will cleanse you for the day and prepare you. It's really cool but it's good. It's hard to get in but once you get in it feels nice. You feel refreshed after a long nap or long sleep and after you get out you're, you feel clean full of energy, you feel like you're able to do anything. Like it's a brand new day. Good. Turn around. Gently! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's right behind you. It's right behind you. Behind you. No, 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 to your right, to your right. Oh, 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 backwards, backwards, go backwards, go backwards. <laughs> Go backwards. <laughs> okay. Straight there. Go backwards. 
No, no, don't go backwards. <laughs> 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 Balance and uh, respect and discipline are are the three main teachings. If if you can do that, if you can uh, discipline yourself to to do the things like uh, go for the morning bath and run, and discipline yourself in your words, your actions, and your thoughts. And you can also focus on respect, respecting yourself, others, creation, and what other people have to say and, and teach. And uh, if they can bring that home with them, then uh, we, we're off to a really good start. It's very important to actually know what's going inside you, what's around you, need any problems, go to your friend or just Be by yourself, think it out. I like the spirit spot. Yeah. It's nice and quiet. Mm. I was visited by a chipmunk once. It's pretty cool. When I came here in my spirit spot, and the wind came, one of the trees touched me, and I looked, and there were the three trees, and they kind of looked like they're hugging each other. And so I thought that was pretty neat. So all three of them are my special trees. <laughs> when I was at my spirit spot, I gave my special tree a hug and shook its hand and asked it questions and everything. I liked doing spirit spot in this camping trip. It was fun. It was nice and quiet. Up in the mountains, you were able to hear some drumming. The drumming sounds really beautiful. I think it's coming from across the, across the creek, up above the hills. Even though they're out on their own, own place that when they come back they're more in tune with themselves to me it seems like that and it, it's it's something that's really beautiful to be out there listening to to the wind to the wildlife Somebody would um, be drumming and singing and when they hear that drum they'd come in and I was standing on the roof of the, the Ishkin watching this and it was really quite a sight to see like a lot of them, some of them chose the older forest, some of them chose the new forest, the new growth and to see all their faces coming out through the trees was really something. It, uh, it really touched me inside because it's like a, a dream, a dream to see these young people, this hope for the future, that they would uh, put aside some time and do this. Just to see their faces coming out of there and to feel ancestors there, being with them, I could, I could feel that inside myself. Your spiritual spot is portable. You can take all that good feeling, that positive energy that quiet, that peace of mind. And today would be a really good time to imprint it here and here. 
for all those hard times down in the valley or in the city when things just aren't going your way to come back to that spot the smell of the pine the feel of the dirt the sound of the birds and the trees the warm of the sun all those things put it here and here You hold them there for those special times when you really, really need it. You really need that peace of mind, that quiet, that power and strength you get from your time at your spirit spot. Take those and hold them and treasure them. That is a beautiful gift. Beautiful gift from Mother Earth, from that friend tree from the Creator. There is a, a talking feather passed around and everybody shares in whichever way they feel comfortable. And that, that teaching is that uh, everything is sacred, everything's in a circle, and as also empowering them, empowering them to speak up, speak what's on their mind, what's in their heart, and to know that it's a safe place to do that. And again, that's, that's to help them to, uh, to express themselves and to share in a good way in, in a communal setting. Circles are good. Helps you relax before eating and make, or reminds you of, that you have to be thankful for all the things that you've, you're going to be eating all the trouble that the people went through making it and very, very, very grateful for all that. Every meal, breakfast, lunch or supper, we'd uh, have a prayer, we'd, we'd uh, put together a plate of food as an offering to our ancestors in, in hopes that uh, they would continue to help us. After we took the, or we took her down, we all went down and we formed a circle around her and said thanks and gave tobacco offering and said a little prayer. Now I've learned um, how to gut a deer, to skin it, to quarter it up and prepare the meat for drying. We've been living off her meat most of the time up here. It's really good. Doing the, the firearm safety and marksmanship is uh, stressed at all times that they, that they uh, discipline themselves to, to staying focused and respecting the firearm and what it can do, respecting the animal by, by being a good enough shot and knowing when to say no to a shot and after that how to, how to deal with the animal in a respectful way, uh, using everything you can and, uh, and giving thanks and uh, apologies to the animal for taking its life. That, that is just uh, one of the many teachings that, that we bring and we, we bring them in such a way that they're, they're captivated and interested and are actually wanting to know more.
on our hike it was um, really hard going uphill and somewhat hard going down but on the top when we were looking at the mountains and the valley it was really beautiful it's pretty high up there I've never been up there so it was a really good experience for me The hike that we took yesterday was cool. It was quite a bit of a challenge for me because I have asthma. I went over three mountains. The last mountain we were on was beautiful. It was awesome. I liked it up there. I want to go up there again. Do it again. It's all beautiful out here. When you stand on top, you can feel like you're on top of the world and you practically are. It was simply enjoyable. It was beautiful. Except for the roads and all the clear cuts. This is beautiful. I also get to learn to quiet myself, my mind, so I don't have to hear myself speaking inside my head all the time. Just learn to absorb everything in. The wind, the trees, animals, plants, the ground sky, the air. Uh, my gifts would probably have to be see the beautiful view on that mountain like yesterday. <laughs> it's still pictured in my mind all the time. It's going to be with me for the rest of my life. I'm really happy with the kids that are here. They're really learning a lot, and they're all in all, they seem to be very happy to be here. One of the big questions I asked one of the group of children the other night was, um, honestly, do they really miss television? And not one of them said that they did. I learned a little bit more about my history. I learned quite a bit about myself, too. I would have regretted it if I didn't come up. I think they've learned a lot and you know I've learned a lot just being here this week so you know a lot of our adults and our younger kids are going through sort of a identity crisis where they're trying to find out who they are and where they come from and a lot of what we're feeling now is the after effects of residential school and you know the whole community breakdown and things like that the, all the social issues that we're faced with today and educational issues that we're faced with today and to really get back to learning who they are I think they really need to come to a place like this to to find out you, know. you look to seven generations back how do you respect the seven generations back how do you respect your ancestors and their teachings health happiness generations generosity pity power to acquire your own personal power and not power to hold it over other people or be bigger or better tougher but power in the four ways spiritual mental emotional physical power to be the best humblest gentlest human being you possibly can so that you can help yourself, help the others around you, help Mother Earth. That's, that's true power. Things I'd like to see these kids take home with them from up here and bring it back down, um, back down to the valley, is, is their oneness, their helpfulness, and their spiritualness. Uh, I hope that they bring back the good feelings they get up here for themselves and keep it with them when they go back down. Even rectangle. Everybody's working together, living together, and getting along, which is basically what it's all about. Learning to be able to get along, work together, help each other out. If we can bring those teachings home, well, then I'm, I'm just so much more happier.
because uh, we all need balance in our lives. We all need to know these teachings. These things that, uh, that I'm teaching quite often are not talked about or, or shown in a family environment. And to do it up here, close to Mother Earth, away from all the distractions, TV, Nintendo, and drugs, alcohol, violence, abuse, all that stuff, the, the kids begin to realize that uh, they can have fun and they can they can grow they can trust in a healthy loving environment